broadcasting live from the University of Wiscasset in the heart of Wiscasset Commons since 1988, home of the fighting Claymores, play more with Claymore. We go to Irene Gonzalez at the Crab Shack Auditorium. Thank you everyone for being here tonight. I'm your host Eileen Gonzalez. Tonight we have special guests Betty Grable, Xenia Ramirez, and Gretchen Barreto. The three women who made international news by going into outer space to fix the Wiscasset International Cable Satellite. Their epic journey was overshadowed by the heroic spacewalk by Gretchen Barreto whose life support hose tore apart during her historic repair of the satellite as she became the first Filipina and woman to walk in space. Thank you ladies for being here. I know a lot of disgraced journalists like Anderson Cooper and Katie Couric were trying to land this interview, so it's an honor for you to allow me the time to interview you. It's my pleasure, Erin. It's my pleasure and honor to be interviewed by a real journalist who has standards and does not owe them for ratings, unlike those two. Yes, it's a total honor to be here with you, a repected journalist. I'm flattered by such compliments. My face is turning as red as my dress. Let's first ask Betty, how has your week been since you've been back? After arriving home, my fiancé, Lobster Trap, hasn't let me out of his sight. If I didn't have interviews with the Whiskerset Daily News London branch and the Scottish Whiskerset Tribune in Glasgow, I don't think the two of us would have left the bedroom. It's been non-stop. So I see a few future lobster fishermen in the near future for you. Only after marriage, but I see a plethora of little bagpipe playing, lobster fishermen in our future. Hopefully around three to four. I want a fleet of mariners to keep our home warm in the winter. Xenia, I heard you've had a doozy of a week. Can you tell us about it and all things that expired during it? Well, yes, it was crazy. The Wiscasset Herald office in Bogota called me and I did an interview and the local airport in La Guajira as naming a terminal in my honor as well as a local school's library. I'm so honored, I am invited to be at the grand opening of the Xenia Ramirez Terminal B and I'm excited for this. Is there any updates on your love life? Well Kid Fried Clams and myself went to Bogota and I spotted him looking at emerald engagement rings so I think he better propose soon. We can become a power couple. Well, I hope he pops the question soon. You two would make a great power couple. Gretchen, has anything changed in your life in the past weeks? Well, yes, Erin. I was interviewed this morning for GMA Philippines by Vicky Morales and Drew Arellano and I'm considering hosting it Baluga only if Randy Santiago will co-host with me and I've been asked to go on several other shows such as Showtime Family, a reboot of Huawei and a promo for Beer na Beer. Wow, Ipaluga, I remember watching that show with Randy Santiago. He has such a great voice. Showtime Family is a funny show and I watch it all the time via the Wiscasset Satellite Network. And a reboot of Wowie that would be great, just be careful of the promos, beer na beer, I prefer red horse, but beer is beer sarap na sarap. Can you tell our worldwide audience about what happened when your cable broke? After doing an analysis, we discovered that a few wires were scorched from the solar flare. They needed to be replaced. So I decided to replace them. I took a course on electronics at the Wiscasset School of Technology and figured it would take me about 5 minutes, but after fixing the wires my line broke. A few seconds later I was in the cabin of the Heart of Gold with a massive headache like I just drank a pan galactic gargle blaster, a mixture of old, junk spirit, ingredient A, water from the seas of Santrogenes V, ingredient B, and Arcturan Megagene, ingredient C. It's like getting heat on the head with a gold brick wrapped in a lemon peel. So how did you get back onto the ship if you were floating in space? Those odds are impossible. I can answer that. The Hitchhiker's Guide Galaxy says that if you hold a lung full of air, you can survive in the total vacuum of space for about 30 seconds. But with space being really big and all, the chances of being picked up within that time are 2 to the power of 2,079,460,347 to 1 against. With that said the improbability drive sounded an alarm. So when the alarm went off, due to the great training we received, I immediately ran over and pressed the improbability drive safety button which brought Gretchen back. She looked like she had been hit on the head by a gold brick wrapped with a lemon peel. It felt like it too. 
During this time we were having communication problems with Wiscasset. Wiscasset we have a problem. We kept sending messages with no response. We started joking about going to another dimension and being on the planet of the apes. And I said, if there are killer apes from outer space, let's eat the hoe and kick some Siamian ass. Well, I, for one, am glad you're back. Thank God you didn't go to the planet of the apes. I can't imagine what Gretchen would have done to those apes. Well, that is all the time we have for today. On behalf of the faculty at the University of Wiscasset, the Crab Shack Auditorium, thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Irene Gonzalez, have a safe night, and remember where your towel is. Thank you for joining this week. Please come back next week for more exciting episodes. As always, please, like and subscribe. See you next week.